Altitude. Um, I've done it many times. I've sort of come up to altitude, stayed there for five weeks, had a good little training block, and you come down to race and you just feel amazing. So that's how I felt today. Um, pushed really hard in the swim. I kind of got dropped from Heather and Mel McQuaid and then just killed myself to get back on the back of them. Um, and I only caught back on maybe 500 meters to go. And then on the bike, I pushed really hard in the first 10k, um, and then Heather came around me. I tried to hang with her, but uh, I couldn't, I couldn't quite stay with Heather. Um, and I just heard the gaps were getting bigger and bigger. Um, I think I was fourth place and then third place on the bike. I uh, got off in third place, 240 down, and I just said, well, let's see what we got on the run. And ran really hard out of transition. Uh, probably ran out a little bit too hot, but um, I knew I'd be able to hang on for a half decent, second half of the run anyway. So um, got into the lead um, at 8K, which I was really surprised with. And then just wanted to keep pushing and see how fast I could run. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with today. I, I had good legs and it was a beautiful course. Honestly, one of the, probably the nicest run course I've ever, ever run on in this sport. So uh, yeah, all around a really great day. Uh, coming off the bike, you were, I think, 240 down out of transition and within the first 3K, you had already put it in a minute onto the girls. How fast did you come out? <laughs> yeah, I always come out pretty hot. Um, I feel like you feel awful coming, running off the bike anyway, so you may as well just run as hard as you can. And that's what I do. And then I tend to settle in after the first few K. Um, so I probably go out hot and then settle into a little bit of a slower pace. And yeah, it's, it's always confidence building as well to get a split back that's like a minute, you know, you're already taking a minute out of front um, in the first 3K, so that was um, definitely very motivating and um, just made me want to push even harder. Was there any strategy in trying to catch them early so you could uh, try to break them early or do you always just race that way? No, I pretty much always um, race hard from the start of the run and um, I don't really have the fitness to hold on to that pace just yet but by the end of the season I can hold on to that pace for the whole half marathon and um, sort of get back to running sub 120s but uh, I slowed a little bit in that second second lap but yeah I mean all in all I'm really happy with how um, training's going um, I've made a step from my last training block and that's really the main thing Thanks to everyone for tuning in and following along. Um, I will be on the sidelines next week and we'll check in uh, while we watch Tim do his Ironman in Boulder. And in first place out of Boulder, Colorado with a swim of 27.16, a bike of 228.43, a run of 122.28, for a total time of 421.26, Miranda Carfrey! Yeah.